Pitch framing is not about making a ball a strike, but it's about making every strike a strike. You watch Yadier Molina receive the ball. It looks like he's sitting on a rocking chair just catching pitches. Last ball, Grandal really exaggerated his target. Gets it on the outside corner and didn't move the glove one inch. All right, so every pitch in theory has a certain run expectancy, but newer advances are going even deeper, exploring the potential value of getting a strike in a specific count. So that's where framing runs come in. They're a way to quantify how good a catcher is at stealing or revealing strikes. And here's a look at the pitch framing leaders in the major leagues so far this season. Yasmani Grandal tops the list. He said last week he's just trying to make the pitch look like a strike. Let's go back a little bit further in time. Since 2008, since the start of that season, the most framing runs added by a catcher Brian McCann tops that list but at number four and five a couple of Molina brothers Jose and Yadier and lucky for us we've got Benji in town today and he's standing by in studio 42 with Dave Valley so you guys know as well as anybody it's an art yes it is Paul it's not something that just comes naturally it's something that you work on but I'm sitting here with Benji Molina 13 year major league veteran two gold gloves, two world champions. My guess is he probably knows a little bit about pitch framing. Benji, last couple of years we've been talking about that. We're going to take a look at Yasmani Grandal, who's leading the major leagues right now in pitch framing. Tell me what you're watching as you see Grandal receive some of these pitches from pretty good pitchers as well. Well, first of all, if it's a strike, it's, it's not really hard to, to frame. You know, Obviously, that's not what you're looking for. But you're trying to make those borderline pitches and borderline low away from the from the plate, make them strike. And that's what you need to do. I think the less movement you have on the glove, the less pulling, the less doing and uh, holding and all that, you're going to get a lot of strikes. And that's, that's what was my, my idea. I'm sorry. And, and how important is it for the umpire right here getting a good look at that pitch? Yes, you have to. I have a lot of umpires talking to me, and they said, present the ball to me. And I'll, and I'll make, make sure I call it for you. So in this situation right here, it looks like that umpire's got a good look right over Grandal's left shoulder. He's receiving the ball out front. Was that something that you tried to do? When you, when you talk about presenting, that's a great word to, to actually describe it, where you're presenting the ball to the guy who's going to ultimately call it either a strike or a ball. Yes, uh, a lot of times you hear the word catching. I like to call us receivers. Well, first of all, you have to receive the ball. When you're catching, you're bowing out there. And I don't like that because of what you said, you have to present it to the, to the umpire. When you go forward with your arm, it all goes stand, and then it could, it could get you either side. And okay, you don't let, have any, any, let's, any let's try to demonstrate that. Give me an idea. I'm going to kind of just roll these balls into you, flip them into you. Well, first of all, uh, I was taught that you have to have the hand like this. A lot of catchers give the target already, already bad. So with the thumb down. Yes, that's, that's bad for you. Because the first movement is going to go this way, and the, and the far as you're going to go here is, is too far to go the other way with the guy throwing 95 sinking. So for me, I learned keep it straight. That way it's even here, even that way. So and the tough me. pitch that you're talking about is a hard sinker from hard a right-hander. Yes, you just turn. Or that little cutter from a hard-throwing left-hander. Exactly. So okay. you don't end up doing this and don't hurt your thumb and all that. So... With that being said, the first thing you have to do is keep your elbow towards you and not let it come out. So this okay. is how. See? Okay. You just receive that ball, and you keep it right there where you have it. Okay, I'm going to give you a hard one, a sink, hard sinker down and in. See? Always when you're catching, you see how far you can reach. Right there is as far as I can reach like that. I don't have to turn here on the corner too quick. So what I do is, as far as I can go, then I turn. Okay, you so know? now when we talk about, we hear the term stealing, are you actually trying to steal? Are you moving, catching the ball and moving the glove over the plate? It's hard for the umpire. As soon as you show you're pulling and pulling, it's a ball. Most nope. of the time. And would the umpire say something to you? If, if, yes. if you caught a pitch, like, just off the plate and you moved that glove, would most umpires, what would we'll they tell, tell you? you? They would tell you right away, hey, stop pulling the ball. You're showing me it's a ball. So a lot of times when the pitch was off the plate, I'd rather just hold it there and they think it's a strike because I'm not trying to trick them. I'm just trying to hold it there and the ball, even though it's a ball, I, I would get it a strike because I, I wasn't moving. I was presented to him. 
Oh, very, so you're revealing the strikes and not trying to steal the strikes. So, Paulie, I think now we're going to get the tools of intelligence, put them on you, and get you back here behind the plate. What do you think? Uh, I think that's a bad idea, Dave. But thanks for, <laughs> thanks for trying. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it.